What's good, y'all? It's your boy Cam back with a YouTube video, and today we'll be checking out this video, man. Students slam Trump for kids in cages, but then find out Biden did it? Biden had kids in cages? What? Um, for the video starts, man, smash the like button right now, subscribe if you're new, and let's get right into this video. Um, I didn't even know this. Wow. Come on. Kids in cages. I'm Addison Smith with Campus Reform. President Joe Biden was very critical of President Trump for putting children in these, what he called cages, down at the southern border. Kamala Harris called it a crime against humanity. We're going to be going to students, showing them these, asking what they think about Trump doing this. But what will students think when they find out that these are actually President Joe Biden's cages? Back in 2016. Wow. Okay, this is going to be interesting. Uh, when Trump was elected, he received a lot of criticism for his his immigration policies. A lot of people accused him of, you know, putting kids in cages down at the borders. He was putting children in what people were calling uh, cages, these holding cells for kids while they were trying to sort things out and get, get them back to their families. So what do you guys think about Trump doing this? I'm sure you guys, you know, have heard of it. What is your reaction to Trump doing this? And what do you think he should have done instead? I don't, I don't like it, obviously. Kids should be, shouldn't be in cages. I think right. Trump did a bad job, but I mean, I knew Obama had kids in cages too. I think it was very disgusting that he did that. Why would you separate children very at a young age or even at any age away from their parents? You know, to be treated differently and put into a cage as if you're not human. So mm. that was, you know, beyond disgusting for him to even do that in the first place. You can't like put them in cages. Um, if like anything, give them like a chance to be able to secure themselves on the soil, um, on American soil. I think that like a big point of like conversation during the debates was he kept firing back with like the, oh, but you're the ones who built them and stuff like that. And I think that the person who used them and is really, you know, the one who should be held responsible rather than like deflecting blame of like, oh, but this happened and this happened. And I think that it was obviously a terrible situation and not handled properly. Yeah, that was something they brought up a lot was that the Obama administration built the cages. But you're saying that, well, you know, you're using them so it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Okay. You're literally like ripping children away from their families at the border and acting mm. like you're doing something good for the country. You're not. I actually have a picture right here that I want to show you. One of Trump's, uh, the, the holding cells they were keeping kids in. These are the ones that the Trump administration built. You can see they kind of look like shipping containers. Mm -hmm. They have the metal bars right there on the windows. So seeing this, what is your reaction knowing wow. that Trump was putting uh, children in here? I don't like that at all. I don't really like the idea of ripping children from their families in the first place and then keeping them in like, yeah, glorified shipping containers is not, not nice. <laughs> Yeah, it's horrible. I feel like there are so many alternatives that could have been like pursued. It looks pretty crappy. Bro, the fact that's like, bro, I, I'm looking at this like, bro, Biden did this. Like, I mean, I don't like it. Bars kind of give off a bad vibe. Like, looks like prison cells. Right. Um, it's like, it's like, it's hard to even like explain your emotions because it's like, why would you put children in a cage? Like if they were an animal, like even like, you know, even dogs themselves, they're not always in the cage their whole lives. W would you say that maybe Trump putting them in those cages was treating them like animals? Yeah, it's, it's like treating someone like an animal. Right. Mm. It just kind of reminds me of um, the, what's it called? Um, like the, what happened in Germany, um, Nazi and um, I forgot the name of it, um, but the Holocaust. Then candidate Biden. Um, when he was when he was gearing up to run against Trump, he was very critical of Trump's Trump's decision here. Kamala Harris was too. She said it was a crime against humanity. He vowed to to end the child separation policy. Do you trust Biden now that Biden's in office? Trump's out. Do you trust Biden uh, to handle the immigration situation better? And do you, do you think that he'll do that? Um, I'm hoping that he yeah that he does resolve the immigration crisis to an extent. You know better than Trump. It would have been so cool if someone was like, oh those the whole the, the cages oh. Bro, no, bro, you tripping. Biden did that, not Trump. You spreading false lies, bro. That would have been so cool, but nope. I think we're in a lot better standing than we have been for the past four years. I know there's a lot going on right now that needs to be focused on. And I have been following closely, like, for his Instagram and everything and waiting to see updates on it. And so, God, I hope so. <laughs> Biden's pretty, like, central. And so we have to, like, push on him to keep making change. From what 
we've seen and what he's promoted for, like what he would do. I believe that he can handle the situation better. You think you might trust him more than Trump? In a sense, yes. I don't think you'd go that far. Last question. Would it surprise you if I told you that that picture I just showed you uh, is actually the facilities that President Biden just opened? I showed you that picture. Um, would it surprise you if I told you that that was a holding cell? Those were holding cells that President Biden just opened uh, about a week ago uh, and that those were not Trump's. And Trump actually uh, enacted a policy that ended the separation of children at the border. That is shocking because I did not know that at all. So, to, you know, for you to tell me that, I did not know that. They basically, everyone made Trump look like a bad image, and he's basically doing the same thing. So, yeah, that's very shocking. I did not know that. I mean, it sucks. Kind of, he went back on his word. So a lot of people are criticizing mm. Biden, calling him a hypocrite saying he was doing exactly what Trump did. That's definitely, that's 100% hypocritical. So knowing that, what is, what is your reaction to that? Does that surprise you? <laughs> I'm not surprised. That's, not surprised. that's exactly what I was expecting. Um, <laughs> like, if he didn't do anything about it, then, like, it's just because, I don't know, everybody's saying he's like a, um, everything's going to change when Biden's coming. Um, I just think from here on now, it's probably going to get worse. I don't think that's wow. a solution. And I don't think there should be a double. <laughs> when was this made? Because... Speaking facts. Standard. I wouldn't be okay with Trump doing it. I'm not okay with Biden doing it. You think Biden lied? Facts. Yeah, honestly, I think Biden has always just been kind of like the puppet mouth of, you know, the Democratic Party. So you guys don't really trust Biden? I No, I wouldn't say that I fully trust him, but I think that um, I trust that he will be pushed. Wow, bro. This man, that's a, that's yeah, that's 100% hypocritical. How could you... Say something's bad, then do it. It's like he was, when he was gearing up to run against Trump, he was very critical of Trump's Trump's decision here. Kamala Harris was too. She said it was a crime against humanity. He vowed to to end. And then did the same thing. The child separation policy. Do you trust Biden now that Biden's in office? Trump's out. Do you trust Biden uh, to handle the immigration? Nah, y'all already know I don't rock with it. Keep putting kids in cages. No, come on. Immigration better, and do you, do you think that it'll do that? Um, I'm hoping that he, yeah, that he does resolve the immigration crisis. Wow, wow, very interesting, bro. Um, but yeah, man, that's the end of the video, bro. If you enjoyed, a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know in the comments below. Did you know about putting kids in cages, bro? I didn't. I didn't know. To an extent, I did not you know, know better than Trump did. I think we're in a lot better standing than we have been for the past four years. I know there's a lot going on right now that needs to be focused on, and I have been. Are they, are they, are the cages still active? Like, is that still a thing? You know, this is March 15, 2021. This is September 5th, 2022, bro. Please don't tell me this is still a thing that they're doing. Closely, like for his Instagram. I hope not. I hope not. Um, but yeah, man, that's the end of the video, bro. If you enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know in the comments below how you felt about this video, man. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss upload, bro. And I'll see y'all in the next video, man. Peace.